dead deers in the road. Like you get into the yeah. some the cats get area. puffy. They get a little Dude, bit bloated. A deer, they'll wreck your fucking car. They will total your shit. You hit like a 400 pound animal. Did I ever tell you the time how I was driving home from Bernie's house after making Rivers Blue and I hit a deer and I didn't know what to do about it because I felt terrible and I called Griffin. We were just dating and I was like, if she finds out I'm, she probably likes animals and I'm going to fuck this thing up. And so I called her and I'm like, what do I do? And she was like, you hit a deer. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what to do. And she goes, you need to go back and run it over and kill it. And I, I was like, is, is it alive? And she's like, still? is it still alive? And I go, oh, yeah, I heard it yelling. And she goes, you need to turn around and kill it. And, and I'm like, well, neck. I don't have a gun. And she's like, and it's three in the morning. And I'm like, well, how do I kill it? And she's like, you're going to have to run it over. And I was like, fuck. And so, and I was like, uh, okay. Holy shit. And so I turn around, I come back, and it's in the middle of the road, like sitting there going, like that. And I have this big pickup truck. So I was like, the truck's probably going to, but I was looking at it and I was trying to figure out how to hit the deer, how to hit the deer to do, to kill it in the most humane way without flipping my truck. And so I'm looking at it and I, I size it up. I'm like pulling up to it and then backing up and pulling, getting it right. And then I back up to what I think is a good distance. And, and then I floor it. Oh my God. It's like Jeepers Creepers style. Yeah. Fuck. And as I hit the gas, the deer gets up and runs away and I go, oh, thank God. And another deer runs in front of me and I hit that deer. <laughs> Jeff, I, if you ever hit me with a car, don't come back for me, okay? I Fucking was leave me there in the road. trying to keep Griffin from breaking up with me. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. I was on my way to her house. And so I Did hit a deer. Did the cars killed each other? Did they I don't know. The, the, the other deer I hit bounced off my truck and just kept running. You called her about that one too, right? You're like, yeah. I didn't finish the first one, but there no, was a was second like, deer. I, I'm not even gonna bother, I can't. <laughs> and I remember driving, I was, after, uh, after that happened, I was horrified. And I was driving to her place, she lived like 30 miles south, and I was like, there is no way I'm having sex tonight. <laughs> Did you? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe if you'd finished it. Yeah. Yeah. I might be the only person to ever hit a deer on his way back from hitting a deer, though. I'm not on his way back, on his way back to kill it! Yeah. <laughs> Coming back to finish it off. She was like, it's the humane thing to do. You've got to put it out of its misery. On I the upside, like... you've still never hit a deer on purpose. No, I, none of those were on purpose. No malicious intent. At least she didn't ask you to, like, snap its neck or anything. <laughs> like, all right, you have to do this. Oh, oh, you mean, like, in Until Dawn? And you could have ripped its fucking head off? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Was... that. Remember that juicy scene? <laughs> you gotta <laughs> kill the deer. Oh! Ah! There was there was another time I was driving down that same road. This is a terrible story too. Go I was driving it. down that same road and it was icy and a deer got in front of me and it was in the daytime and it was running. And he had a gun. No. And he was running in front of me and I hit the brakes. You hit my friend. Yeah. I hit the brakes and it was sli and it was ice. The road was iced over, so I was sliding and I couldn't control the truck and I was catching up on the deer and I was like, run faster, little deer, and I'm just like swerving, trying not to go off the road and die. I, w I would rather hit the deer than die, right? And the deer is like, I'm gaining on him fast and I, I don't want to. And we start to cross a bridge and the deer looks back at me and just jumps off the side of the bridge. You made a deer commit suicide? Stop! Stop! It jumped off the side of the bridge How long and it has was this been going on. It was a long way down. Why do you like, hate Bambi? <laughs> you're like the deer whisperer that kills them. Yeah. <laughs> stop! Stop getting in your car. And, and so I, I couldn't stop anyway, but I couldn't bring my had I been able to, I wouldn't have been I couldn't you bring didn't myself look to and no. see what happened. No, I kept sliding. Christ. I went like another mile. I just fucking hydroplane. You are the most successful accidental hunter in that yeah. region. Yeah. yeah. You mean like it, it looked at you, was it like You've killed me, and then no. jumped off. I, it was more of a like, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> See, I'm thinking in deer culture, there's like an like, I am legend scenario where they're like, this man, Jeff Ramsey, will come and find your family, make sure you take like care in, of your deer kids. It's like, <laughs> it's like in those, those I don't want to bring up specifics, but those moments where you, you realize you're going to die, but you have choices. It's like, how, do I, how am I going to die? Am I going to get, by falling, and then sudden impact, or by getting hit by a truck? It went, do you think it went for its head? 
Like, I just wanted to land I don't know, on its own man. head. I felt so bad. Yeah, I bet you did. Not bad enough to look. Did you, did you get on the off ramp, circle back around, and then run it over on the road underneath? <laughs> I didn't. It, no, it was a dry creek bed under there. I didn't. Look, you don't realize it, but you are actually like the manliness challenge of deer in that area. <laughs> like, they're like, did you face the Ramsey? There's, there's, yes. you know, I survived you know how, the Ramsey. You, you know did. how in the, uh, like, this is a common thing, like, in a lot of wooded areas, and especially in New Jersey, there's deer crossing signs. There's like literally a picture of a fucking deer, and it's like, slow down, they'll jump out. In the woods, there's fucking signs of Jeff for the deer. <laughs> They're like, watch the fuck yeah. out. He'll run you over, he'll make you jump off a bridge. They're gonna come to your house. Motherfucker and kill will you come one day. back for you. It's the, gonna be like to bring him back. Yeah, I know of, he is, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds I me of. I sent him for you. I am a dark god. <laughs> One time I was in, uh, in my f first marriage to the horrible woman who's not my beautiful wife, Griffin. Uh, I was at her family's in New York and it was winter and she had gone to visit her friend and I decided to walk over to her friend's house to go, because uh, I was bored, I was just gonna go see what they're up to. And I was walking through the woods and two dogs came out of the woods and started growling at me and it was snowing and they, had, they, they like started to flank me and, uh, and they looked vicious. You gotta watch out, cause that, and then the, the dog from the side will get you like a raptor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, happens. was this part of your training as a and, Spartan? Or? No, no, and I'm just in a field, right? A snowy field, and I see these two dogs, and I'm in the snow, you can't run in the snow. And I, like, and I look around and I think, like, what, how am I gonna defend myself? And I look down on the ground, and at my feet was a hammer. <laughs> what? What? And in the middle of the woods. Jeff. It was just, I literally was about to step on thing. it. It was Here's weird. It was next to a, a box full of pornography. It was like on top of the snow. You, I, I laugh, but dude, if you don't grow, if you didn't grow up in like a wooded area, you find all kinds of shit in the woods. First porn I ever saw was wood porn. You just find porno magazines sitting in the and woods. Hammers, that sounds like I got a tree and porn. Yeah. Yeah. I got a porn, I got a porn, I got a porn. woods porn story after, after this. After the hammer. After you hammered the shit out of those dogs. And then so, and they're looking at me and I'm looking at them and I just look at the ground for like a stick or a pine cone or something. And there's a fucking hammer. What are you going to do with a pine cone? Just a little, I don't know, uh, throw it at the dog to scare it? put it in their mouth, have them swallow it. Slowly uh, over time, it would ruin their digestive system. It's really abrasive. Yeah. Uh, and so, I remember my first thought was like, am I in a movie? So I picked up the hammer, and I just held it up like this, and the dogs ran away. But I almost had to kill two dogs with a hammer. But I didn't. Christ, did you come back with your car and run them over? <laughs> Griffin's like, you gotta go back. He tried those, to, but both those of them jumped off the side and died. over yeah. you, and now they think they can, you know, do whatever they want. I feel like that's the shittiest King Arthur story ever. <laughs> the hammer in the woods. Yeah? God gave me that know, hammer that day. It's very surreal. I guess I'm the only person that's never like hit an animal or anything like that. I ran over a turtle once. That was cool. You're yeah, a monster. Then you're not the only person. I've never killed go. an animal besides bugs. Fuck bugs. No, no, fuck bugs. But you make me deal with them every single time. There's a spider or something. Like Michael's them. like, oh, get it, Lindsay, get Here's it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm from New Jersey. If someone tries to stab you, I'll get in the way. You're from Texas. If a bug comes at me, you deal with it. That's how it works. Or a snake. I got another terrible hitting an animal story. What the fuck, Jeff? I don't know if I should tell this one. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Go you back in time and say stop! Until stop. You leave this the one's country? bad. This one's pretty bad. Oh, this one's bad, guys. Not like the other ones. When I was in high school, I was driving down the road and on a, just a regular street in the neighborhood, and a car in front of me, a kitten ran out. <laughs> no, Jeff! No! A kitten ran out, and the car hit the kitten and kept going. And the cat was like flopping around because it had like a broken neck. And I started to cry. I, dr I swerved around it, and I kept As driving. You and I started to cry, but I looked in the rearview mirror and I saw it flopping around. So uh, I didn't know what to do. Yes, and you I did. Thought, I gotta. It's you funny. Gotta go back it, for it. I didn't. I never drew this parallel until tonight. So I thought I have to hit the cat to kill it. Because it's, it was obviously its neck was broken and it was flopping around and it would look, it would look terrible. So, I had a 1981 Buick Century. It was Dude, a big I'm car. so glad you weren't on the immersion shoot. Yeah. Because <laughs> Lindsay would be dead right now. I would. She's yeah, on the ground. Yeah. Austin Jeff just comes through with his fucking like, car. Jeff, please don't run me over. I'm sorry, I have to. I still have more years in me, please. It's gonna, all right, it gets, it gets, it's gonna get worse. So I, I turned around. I need more beer. And I ran the cat over because I wanted to put it out of its misery. I don't know that I've ever told this story before. As I kept, and then I looked in the rearview mirror to make sure it was dead, and the cat wasn't there. 
and I did. I was like, "Where's the cat?" So I stopped, and I yeah. got out of my car, and in the passenger driver's side wheel or uh, passenger front wheel well, the dead cat was lodged in there, and I couldn't touch it. So I thought, "I'll just keep driving until it falls out." <laughs> so I drove. And I just kept driving while looking in the rearview mirror, and it never came out. And I drove for like a half an hour, and it was still there, and I couldn't touch it. Jeff. So I went to a car wash, and I got Jeff. the power washer. <laughs> Jeff! And I sprayed, I had to spray it out of my car. And then what? Then there's just a dead cat yeah. on the and, floor of the car and wash. what yeah. was it at that point? It was like yeah. a pile of goo. And then I went I home after that. Was it a full cat that sprayed out? It was like parts of it. Like no, it was a it was a full dead kitten. One Puh. contiguous flat cat. Yeah. I just had to go like like that, and it plopped down, and then I just got in my car and went home. And it so was how, still flopping, the and then Jeff stomped on it. How much of the were you getting yeah. in the face though while you were doing that? Christ. There wasn't a mount. Stay yeah. away from my cats. <laughs> Don't come near Stay them. Stay away from cars. Yeah, just stop driving. <laughs> just walk everywhere. Jeff will find a way. By the way, why did you have to contact Griffin for the deer situation? You'd already had it handled with the cat. I had I, forgotten about that cat situation until just now. Was the cat before or after the deer situation? I was in high school with the cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Did you, like, repress the memory? Like, I'm going to forget that this ever happened. One time in high school? What other animals did he kill? Yeah. What? Like, why do you hate animals? What happened? It's not animals. Jeff killed a kangaroo was it yesterday. A human? This is a human story. One time in high school, I was driving with my friends at like two in the morning, and I fell asleep while I was driving because I was tired. And uh, I heard a scream. I'd actually just taken my friends and dropped them off, and I was going home. And uh, I kind of I nodded off, and I heard a scream, and I looked up in time to see a guy diving out of the way of my car into a, like a six foot ditch. I, he would have been crossing the road, and I guess I didn't see him, and I started to swerve over towards him, and I just saw the guy's, like, legs in the air as he dove into the ditch. Holy shit. And then I just kept going. Did, let me Did ask you. go back and kill let him? Me, let me ask you, Jeff. Did you go back for him? I didn't hit that guy. Okay. He, he got out of the way. No, I think that was, that, that guy was, like, a deer. if he had I might have gone in that ditch. He did me a favor. I think he I think saw you and killed followed himself. followed him into the yeah. ditch is what you mean. I think if you didn't but scream, you'd be a murderer, is what you're saying. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's all I'll take that's it. That's the last of those Are stories sure? I'm going to tell. Yeah. Are you sure? Are I don't you know gonna... that's the I, Nothing else is coming to mind, but well, even now, if it does, I'm going to hold on to it. Now I feel like you need to rack a couple stories up in Australia to bring back with you yeah. for another podcast. Let's pour one you out know, for like, that kitten. I, I, I've heard that... Um, Yo, give me one of those. I still got to recover from Jeff's kitten story. <laughs> well, you know what? Kittens? You need that yeah, one. pretty much. Yeah, thank you. So, I was saying we did that, uh... I thought of another story. <laughs> no! Jeff! Jeff! All right. I'm not going to tell it. No, you are! Holy shit! Real quick, though. We did that immersion. And like I said, everybody was wearing t-shirts. And I think it was five different shirts because it was each color. You know, the Space Invader from the game. So we have five shirts in the back there. I've got some extras that I'm gonna wing into the crowd just uh, dangerously. Much like a there boomerang. Thank you, Will. Dude, shout out Ezra Cooperstein, everybody! <laughs> Ryan, that's Will, just so you know. No, I got it. No, All right, I spent time with Will. Well, how about this, real quick? Do you wanna yeah. grab two and I'll take three and okay. we'll just run out there and throw them randomly? I'll have you know. They're all extra large, so you yeah. might want to gain yeah. some weight. I'm going to go that direction if you want to go this direction. You want to go there? All right. dreams and no hopes. i'm fine i don't i don't think i killed anything well so far no. you haven't been able to close the deal yeah that's what we hear as you were throwing out shirts jeff leaned over to me and he was like that's 100 percent true i'm so sorry like uh, uh, that's actually very i wasn't accurate. embellished in any way <laughs> one time in high school i was driving i dropped a friend off after playing basketball and i was driving through a neighborhood and this you know i was 16 and when you're 16 you're like a walking dick Right? You're just horny. Uh, you, guys, you, can't, you guys know what I'm talking about. Exactly. You're horny yeah, 24 hours a day, like you can't control yourself. 
and I saw this girl. One 16 year old over there. One yeah. guy yeah. over there. He's like, I got a boner right now. <laughs> I got hard when you're talking about killing those animals. I, just, I didn't feel good about it, but I felt good. <laughs> and uh, I saw this girl walking across the street in short shorts. And I still think, uh, well, I don't because I'm married. But anyway, she was very pretty. She seemed like a lovely girl. And I couldn't stop looking at her. And I was watching her walk slowly across the street. And, uh, and then I heard a horn, a honk horn, horn honk? Heard, oh, heard a horn, honk? And I was like, eh. And I heard it again. And I was like, eh. And I heard it a third time. And I went, oh. And I snapped back to reality. And I looked. And I was in the other lane. And there was a van coming at me. And it swerved and went into a ditch. In Alabama, we have huge ditches. Apparently. And Jeff. How are you a free man? <laughs> Holy shit. And, Statue of limitations. There's like nine people that are coming for you after so this anyway, podcast. It swerves into a ditch and goes like face first into the ditch. And it's like one wheel in the air spinning. And I stopped and the door of the van opened. It opens up because the van's on its right, side. Right, naturally. Yeah. Opens up and some lady like starts to crawl out. And she looks like she's in like maybe her 40s. And she started shaking her fist at me and I fucking floored it. <laughs> To this day, I have no idea what happened. God damn. You put anything else in a ditch? You Jesus know, you good? Christ. I can't think of anything. That was You're, my last you story. You couldn't think of anything before, and then you busted that one out. So. Yeah. We're going to die. True. Like, Just we, wait we for work it. for this guy. At some point, Jeff's going to kill us. I've ridden in your car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we thought.